What's up everyone? I hope you're all having a good day wherever you're watching this. So with the news that came earlier in this week that Josh Berry would be uh, taking over, or I guess the new driver for the number four Stuart Haas racing car in the NASCAR Cup Series in 2024, of course, Kevin Harvick is retiring at the end of this season um, and Josh Berry is moving up to replace him. A lot of the talk has been about that, which rightfully so, that is awesome for Josh, that's awesome for Stuart Haas Racing, but a lot of people also have been wondering, including myself, who takes over the number eight for Junior Motorsports. Um, obviously, it's one of the best Xfinity Series teams, it's one of the best cars, one of the, it's a very good team to ride for from what I've heard and obviously from what we see week, every weekend. Um, there is no shortage of potential drivers to my knowledge, um, Junior Motorsports haven't said anything yet about potential drivers or anything. Um, to me, there's probably two maybe top ones and they both have the name Carson. Uh, one's Carson Hosovar and one's Carson Quapel. I think either of them would be a great pick. Uh, Carson Hosovar has been doing well in the truck series. Uh, he's, in the last month or a couple months, he's really cleaned up some of his extra stuff people didn't like, including myself, but that also is any young racer, you're probably going to have little moments like that. So I think he would be a good fit, and I think he would exceed in the Xfinity series. Uh, I would love to see Carson Quaffle get a chance in the NASCAR Xfinity series. He uh, races the late models for JRM and he is a very talented racer and I think he would honestly surprise a lot of people. Um, there's also the possibility that there would be uh, some, some, someone that gets it that maybe we're not thinking of. Maybe someone that's currently in a more underfunded team such as a Josh Williams or a Kyle Weatherman. I think either of those examples would be perfect and I think think that would be awesome to see what they could do in a fully funded car and I'm sure there's plenty of other, other drivers that I um, I have not mentioned that would do equally as well and maybe you have a different idea of uh, a driver and I would love to hear who you would like to see in the number eight car next year. Um, I can't wait till we find out and like I said, please let me know what your thoughts are. That That's just my thoughts. I could be totally wrong. I guess we'll, we'll see. But as always, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for over 200 subs and I'll see you in the next video.